Hey everyone, welcome back to Health Angel Solutions. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what happens when you stop taking your thyroid medication abruptly, as well as why I don't think it's safe. We'll also talk about some of these side effects and four reasons why you're probably going to get worse if you take this course of action. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what happens if you stop taking your medication abruptly, as well as possible symptoms. It's important to remember that thyroid hormone is prescribed to patients whose bodies are in a state of hypothyroidism. Thus, the IRIT hormone is intended to provide you with more thyroid hormone than you are currently producing in order to alleviate the symptoms of hypothyroidism. It follows that if we stop taking the medication or the extra thyroid hormone you are taking, you will likely resume experiencing the symptoms of hypothyroidism. That way, there won't be any bizarre or new symptoms, such as the feeling that you should not have a sudden heart attack or anything of the sort. You will just begin to feel the same hypothyroidism symptoms that you were previously experiencing, which could include things like increasing fatigue, weight gain, and greater cognitive fog. Abnormalities in the menstrual cycle, severe GI problems, or constipation, increasing hair loss, declining memory, if you are experiencing any of the other symptoms of hypothyroidism, including increased pain, these are the things you might encounter if you stop taking your medication. And what numerous patients tell me, this is evident in the comments, and I frequently get asked questions about it. People say that they have heard of people who have stopped taking their medication and reported feeling better. It may be tempting to think about this, particularly if you're one of those patients taking thyroid medication like levothyroxine or Synthroid, and you're not feeling well at all. You might even be gaining weight while still experiencing symptoms, and you might be prone to placing the blame for these symptoms on your medication, and so you're probably considering that yourself. Well, let me tell you about four reasons why you shouldn't think that is something you should consider, at least not on your own. You can certainly think about this if you speak with your doctor and let him or her know that you intend to do it but you shouldn't just do it on your own because it can be fairly dangerous. Let me tell you about these four reasons why quitting your thyroid. Medication will probably make things worse for most people. The first reason is that your body might become dependent on the medication. Some people take thyroid medication as a result of having their thyroid removed, thyroidectomy, or having their thyroid gland destroyed, radioactive iodine ablation. In these cases, you will likely need to take thyroid hormone for the rest of your life because your body is unable to produce it naturally. If you stop taking it, you'll be in serious trouble because there is no other way to get it. Now, if you have a partially functioning thyroid gland that is just slow or sluggish, let's say that in an ideal world, your thyroid would function at 100%, but in reality, it only functions at 70%. In this case, you would need to take extra thyroid hormone to raise your thyroid's functioning percentage from 70% to 100%. To start, your thyroid will function at 70%. After that, I or your doctor will give you a small amount of thyroid hormone to increase it. From 70% to 89% or 100%. You may be dependent on your thyroid medication, so if you fall into that category, and stop taking it suddenly, your thyroid will return to normal and produce what it was capable of producing before you started taking it. Usually, this is lower than whatever you're taking now, which is why you'll feel worse almost always. However, the whole point of this is that you may need it. So if you're not sure why you're taking it, don't stop because there may be a very good reason, like having had your thyroid removed. A third category, as well the first condition I'd listed is Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which can permanently damage the thyroid gland if left untreated. If you have something similar, you may not be aware that you may have very little thyroid function left. Therefore, your HPT axis is blunted. The acronym for this condition is hypothalamic pituitary thyroid, or HPT, and it refers to the connection between your body and the thyroid, pituitary, and Hypothalamus. This allows your body to naturally produce the amount of thyroid hormone that it needs at any given time. The term blended 
refers to the fact that taking thyroid medication blunts the hypothalamus's ability to detect blood levels of thyroid hormone. Once this level is reached, the hypothalamus sends a message to the pituitary through TRH, indicating that a certain amount of thyroid hormone is needed. This stimulates the pituitary to varying degrees, which in turn causes the thyroid gland to become toxic. This process is how thyroid hormone is obtained, and the entire system feeds back to itself by adjusting the amount of TRH and TSH and thyroid hormone depending on what your body needs. Now, when you start taking thyroid medication, you are interfering with that entire system, which means you are blunting that system. This occurs with all hormones you take. It happens with cortisol and HCG, with estrogen and testosterone with ESHA and LH, and with thyroid hormone with TSH. Therefore, if I were to give you thyroid hormone, you would get the pituitary equivalent of that hormone, or the message that the pituitary gets to reduce the amount that it will naturally produce. Therefore, the more thyroid hormone I give you, the more dependent you are on the medication and less dependent on what your body can produce on its own. That's the key takeaway. But the problem is that your body takes some time to return to normal once I stop giving it thyroid medication. Therefore, if you suddenly decide to stop taking your medication, your body may not start producing thyroid hormone again for a few weeks or months, depending on how suppressed it was in the first place. Thus, for example, one of the main worries that physicians have is the usage of steroids, which you are undoubtedly already aware of. However, steroids inhibit your body's natural ability to produce certain steroids, like cortisol and some others, but for the time being, Woodstock is producing cortisol here. As a result, if you stop taking, say, prednisone after taking it for three or four months, now the thyroid isn't quite as sensitive as the cortisol system, but it's still a similar concept. So that's what I want you to understand. Therefore, if you're going to stop taking your thyroid medication, it will be safer to gradually reduce your dosage rather than stopping it abruptly because of this blunting of the HPT system. Okay, that's number two. Number three, your body might not be able to produce thyroid hormone on its own. This connects back to what we previously discussed. The majority of the time, if you take thyroid medication, it's because your body isn't functioning at 100%. That is, your body may be producing thyroid hormone at 50, 30, 60, or 70%. The whole point of my treatment is to give you a little extra on top of that to get you as close to 100% as possible. However, if you stop taking your medication, your body will revert to whatever level it can function at. So if that's 50%, you'll... However, consider the following scenario. You are 50 years old on thyroid medicine. And although we increased your dosage from 50 to 70, you are still not at your best. However, 70% is still better than 50%, so stopping the prescription will just cause you to drop from 70% to 50%, which will obviously make you feel worse. All right, just remember that and move on to number four, which is crucial after number two. I have a lot of thyroid supplements that I offer and I think they work very well but I'll be the first to tell you that they're not a replacement for thyroid medicine since thyroid supplements do not replace thyroid hormone and they are not as powerful as drugs. Hence, the thyroid, the entire purpose of taking thyroid supplements is to give your body whatever it needs, ideally things that it may be lacking in, so that the thyroid can function at its maximum potential. However, if you've had it removed, have damage from Hashimoto's disease, or anything similar, you may actually need some thyroid medication because your thyroid is damaged and taking supplements might not be enough to get you there. One common mistake I see in patients is that they want to take supplements, so they stop taking their medication and just take supplements, which usually makes them feel worse. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make so. If you enjoyed them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, this goes a long way in helping us grow that said back to the video. Therefore, I would not advise you to do that. Lastly, there are a few other things to think about, but this is one that I think is important to know, thyroid hormone. 
especially if you're taking a four medication like Synthroid or Levothyroxine, stays in your system for about four weeks. If you've ever heard people discuss stopping medication, they occasionally report feeling better right away, but they almost never mention that they're still feeling better three or four weeks later. This is because the medication takes time to take effect. You simply cannot predict how you will feel until the thyroid medication you are taking completely clears your system, which should happen after four weeks. Therefore, don't be fooled by people who tell you that they stopped taking their medication for the first few weeks and felt amazing. You almost never see those people say that they are feeling great six, eight, or 12 weeks later because that's when their bodies start to tip and they start to deal with all the blunting of the HPT and all those other things that I was talking about here. Because most of the time it has to do with either you're not taking the right thyroid medication for your body or you're not taking the right dose, or you could be deficient in some nutrients and need to supplement. Those are the only plausible and reasonable reasons why you might not be feeling 100%. So keep in mind that there are a couple things that you can do if you that I recommend you do instead of stopping your thyroid medication. Step one is to make sure you get a complete thyroid lab panel. This will allow you to look at all of the different areas of thyroid function at every level in your body. You are going to examine thyroid conversion, thyroid hormone production, and cellular sensitivity. You should examine all of those factors because they will help you understand your body better. Secondly, as I mentioned earlier, think about changing the dosage or medication you are taking. You may need to switch from 42 NDT to 4 plus 3, or you may need to add 3 or T4 dose. I have videos available for all of these potential options. Lastly, think about taking thyroid supplements in addition to your medication, not to replace it. Therefore, many cases of thyroid hypothyroidism predispose you to certain nutrient deficiencies, which you can address to potentially improve your body's conversion of those deficiencies into thyroid hormone and potentially reduce your need for medication, depending on your situation. Finally, since diet, exercise, and stress reduction all affect thyroid function, you should definitely make sure you're including these as well. In conclusion, stopping thyroid medication abruptly can lead to a range of side effects that significantly impact your health and well-being. Common issues include fatigue, weight changes, mood swings, and even more severe complications like thyroid crisis. It's crucial to understand that your thyroid plays a vital role in regulating numerous bodily functions and sudden changes in medication can disrupt this balance. If you're considering adjusting your thyroid treatment, always consult with your healthcare provider first. They can help you develop a safe and effective plan to taper off your medication if needed, ensuring you manage any side effects along the way. At Health Angel Solutions, we're dedicated to providing you with the most accurate and helpful information to support your health journey. If you found this video informative, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated on our latest content, including tips on managing thyroid health, understanding medications, and much more. Your engagement helps us reach more people who may benefit from this knowledge. Remember, your health is a journey, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Stay healthy and informed.